Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. On the bench today, we have a pair of 30-year-old Klein uh, Lyman's pliers. Now, these pliers were not, they, they, they don't belong to me. Uh, they belong to my son. And uh, and the reason why I say 30 years, that's the most accurate information that I've had concerning these pliers behind him telling me where, where he found them. And uh, how he found them, uh, he's an electrician also. They were rewiring this abandoned house. Well, the house had been abandoned for sure, he said, uh, the person told him, for over three decades. Okay? And I'm going off of hearsay. And um, these line, he found another pair of uh, strippers up in the attic as well. And I'll do a video on those also. But um, he found these lineman pliers. They didn't look like this when he found them. I cleaned them up. I used, I got some bleach wipes and wiped them off and things like that because it was really bad. And he found these uh, lineman pliers in the attic. And, um, you know, he told me about them. And so I saw them and I said, well, I could do a video of them. I'm sure some of you guys who's watching could relate to these pliers. Some of you may even use a pair of pliers looking like this today with the, uh, with the press-on handles and, you know, with things like that. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go into more detail about these pliers. And, uh, but I just want to tell you the story behind them. Well, he said when he, he just happened to run across them, uh, run across them in an attic and along with some wire strippers. And I'll, I'll do a video of those as well. And, uh, you know, and when he bought it to me, uh, it was in bad condition. It was, you know, rusty. And so, like I said, I used some bleach wipes and I just wiped them all off and cleaned them up as best I could. So, anyway, um, here we are. And I'm going to just go over some, um, you know, it's just the, the functionality of them and, and I'll tell you some things about them. And, you know, that's um, what I find. Um, I haven't found anything wrong with them, but I tell you what, the weight of these pliers, that's why it makes me think they're over about, about that age when you say 30. I mean, these suckers are heavy. I use this little, uh, this little display stand to put them on. I have another one that, a pretty strong one, the one I normally use, this white one to put my, you know, put tools on and like display them. And I'm doing a review of them. These suckers so heavy, I had to order another one without the lips so it'll hold them. I mean, these, they are heavy. I mean, really heavy. And I, I can't see the name on them. I can't see the model number on them or anything like that. I'm going to try to get it in view. Maybe you guys can see that on there. I don't know what that means. Um, the, those numbers right there. Maybe you do. But I don't see anything I don't see where they've been arced at in there. Or do you guys see? I don't see any daylight. They open. They've been well worked for sure. And um, despite the way they look, they they still are some good uh, pliers. But these suckers are very heavy. Very heavy. And uh, so... Um, let me see. I should have bought some wire in here. I don't have it. Just to test it. What do I do? I don't know. Oh my goodness! I thought I had. Well, I have some of this uh, SO cord right here, so I can try that. But this is not. This won't really do it any justice. But oh, it still cuts like good. Very good. Look at that. Okay. Well. But um, anyway, these are some very good, very uh, nice pliers, and um, I just thought I'd give them a, you know, give them their 15 minutes of fame, 15 minutes of fame again, uh, kind of resurrect them again, uh, because they are they are worthy. Um, so that's all I'm doing, just showing appreciation, and oh, one thing I want to get out too, well, two things I want to get out. Uh, I know. Uh, you know, I do do demonstrations on my channel, just like I, you know, small demonstrations, just like I just did just now. But there's enough videos online with, you know, guys, uh, 
sawing stuff and all, you know, doing all kinds of demonstrations, which are very nice. But I choose to do something different with mine. I'm more laid back on my channel, right? Because that, that, this is the kind of channel I wanted. Uh, I'm going to focus on the tool and that you, if you're a tool lover, you basically going to look at it and just observe it. Observe, absorb, observe the tool. Oh, I can't talk this morning and I haven't had my coffee. And uh, kind of admire the two, and hopefully the two will bring back memories. I don't, I'm not set up to do all kinds of this, you know, demonstrations, um, but there are some very good um, uh, videos on YouTube that you can uh, that does do it. So um, I'm sorry about that, guys, who were looking for me to do all the, the crazy stuff with tools. I, nah, I'll leave that to some of the other guys out there. But if you just like looking at the tools and not hearing me blabber so blabber so much, I won't do that. But just to tell you what I think about a tool, give you my unbiased recommendation on my tools, on tools that I have used before, and uh, well, here we are. But anyway, guys, um, that's all this is about. I like the rubber grips that they have. These are the press-on rubber grips um, right here. I think I had a pair of these before, if I'm not mistaken. But what I used to do with them. How, how I used to get them to stay. I'll, I'll boil them in some hot water, kind of loosen them up a little bit because when you first buy these grips, they're hard to put on. So I'll loosen them up just a little um, and I'll kind of, uh, like the plier, I'll kind of lube it down a little bit so to make it easy to slide on. So that's what I used to do. I'll loop, I'll, um, Cause when you boil them, heat them up a little, they kind of expand enough whereas you can slide them right on. And that's and once they get on, it cools, and as it cools off, it kind of shrinks and wraps itself around the, the steel, and it grips it. Now, do they hold all the time? Sometimes they come off. I guess some people put too much lube on the handle, and they don't get a chance to grip right. But um, those are on there. I guess the, the glue has been dry, whatever they've been dry. Um, they've been um, stuck on there for over thirty years, and I'm just going by what. Uh, the information that I received on these flyers and being in the attic. So, but anyway, guys, I just hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing these uh, used um, Klein Lyman flyers. Um, you can see they old. They don't have any uh, like other features other than just the side cutter here. They don't have a crimper. Don't have a fish tape puller or anything like that. But they are some nice pliers. And I just want to give them their last, um, give them another 15 minutes of fame. So um, if you like the video, guys, I'm asking you to join the channel. Um, I'm asking you to, and it's for free. Um, look at it as uh, one tradesman to another, just shaking hands. That's all. And um, that you enjoy what I'm doing. So if you like this and like any other model videos, uh, you know, uh, go down, hit that subscribe button, uh, post a comment. Uh, we'll answer you back. Um, you know, share the channel. All of that is in support of the channel. I'm trying to help the channel grow. Thank you for your time, and uh, you guys stay safe out there. I'm out.